Hi there, and welcome to Titan. Today, we're going to be showing you a real-life customer use case for field surveys with approval processes for Salesforce. So here we go. This customer came to us with a few challenges. The first off was that they needed people who were going to be on all sorts of devices, computers and tablets and even phones to have access to Salesforce data while they're outside in the field. Um, in the current setup, they didn't have anything like that. And what Titan did was it allows them to integrate with Salesforce in real time so they can bring the data from Salesforce and interact with it and send it back without any issues. The next thing is that they have multiple personas. So different users needed access to the same data, but they needed to have different ways for them to interact with the data based on who they were. So Smart V, along with Access Control, gave them the ability to have different personas that would log into these forms, but have different opportunities for interacting with the data within the forms, as we'll see in a moment. The, the last thing was that they needed an external approval process. And Salesforce does not give them a way for external users to approve or reject information because they're not Salesforce users. So with Titan Flow, anyone that you choose to be part of your approval process can be a part of it based on the personas you create for them within Salesforce. So let's jump right in. This is the actual way that the uh, form looked. And as you can see here, it asks for architect info and reviewer approval. These are two separate types of personas that we'll see in a moment. And they can put in information, they can approve and reject across these different parts of the form. And when they get to the end, it will either show them approve or submit based on who they are and what they're doing. And all of this was created without any code whatsoever, drag and drop tools that we provide you out of the box. So let's jump into the actual POC and see how it looks. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna log in as the customer. And I'm gonna put in my username here and we can get started. And the customer goes through and they do a review. So here is the site plan. We're gonna put in some sizes, okay? And put in some other sizes. And they cannot leave comments or approve and reject because they are the architect and the customer and they have to just fill things in on the left side. So we're gonna keep going confirm that we have this, and then we can submit. Okay, so now that this is submitted, we're gonna get an email, and that email is gonna ask the reviewer to start doing the review process. So this is the first part of the approval process that we've allowed to be part of this. So here we go, the review is submitted by the customer, and I'm gonna click on this. It's now gonna take me back to the login for the reviewer. So I'll put in my information, And now that we're logged in, you're going to see something a little bit different, which is that now I can't change these numbers, but I can either approve or reject things. So if I reject something, it's going to ask me here for a comment at the end. For now, we'll just approve everything. But as you can see, when I click reject, this becomes mandatory. So I'll go ahead and approve everything. And also here, I'll approve everything. And again, if I ask for a comment, it will now, if I reject, it will now say the comment is mandatory. Okay, so I'm going to say reviewer decision is approved. And let's approve it. Now it's going to go to the second reviewer. So now we can go back to our email and get another email for the second reviewer. And here it is. And let's jump back in again. So now let's lo log in as the second reviewer. Now this person will have the same opportunities to either approve or reject. And as you can see, it's already pre-filling the decisions of, re of reviewer one. If I reject again, it's gonna ask for a comment and then it would actually send it back to the first reviewer to be reviewed again. And let's just approve of everything. And what you can see here is if I write reject and I put in a comment, now the approve button is grayed out and I can't actually click on it. I can only click on reject, but for the purposes of this video, let's do approve. We'll approve it again and let's see what happens. So now upon completion, we've actually generated a document with all of the data that I just put in there, the approval, the comments, if there are any, and I can come in here and I can say, okay, I wanna sign now. And this is now kicked off the signing process. After I finish signing, it will now go to the first and second person, the first reviewer and the customer for their approval as well. After all that is done, it will push the document to Salesforce and it can also email it to anyone that is needed. So this is how we can actually accomplish not only a dynamic form process that allows multiple personas to come in and give their information, but also 
gives you a way to have an approval process with signatures at the end, generating a dynamic document from Salesforce. And all of this was done using Salesforce and Titan without any code whatsoever. So if you're interested in learning more, come check out the demo today.